So would you like to add some color swatches into your products of the Shopify? So the color swatches enhances the shopping experience by allowing customers to see all the color options at a glance. And actually it's gonna be really easy. So the very first thing I wanted to do is to go directly into my store of Shopify. First of all, I'm gonna sign in. Now that we are inside here, what you wanted to do is to prepare your product variants. It's gonna be really easy and the most common error that nobody does, which is preparing your product variants. So if you're looking into Shopify Administrator, let's look out here into adding a product variance. So navigate the record to the product section. Inside here, just select one product that would you like to edit, for example, this one. And here, as you should see, we have this product. So as you can see, I have this product, but I have all the variants. If you don't have variants, what you can do is to just focus into the variants section. And here I focus into the option that says add variant. Now, as you should see, what we can do is to add options. For example, if this is a color and if this is in a specific size. For a specific color and for a specific size, what you can do is to add in a specific images for that. Once you have successfully done this, let's go and see the variant and saved it. Now that you have just installed it and you have do all the variants for all your products, then we can move on to the next step, which is installing the actual color swatch application. Now, we need an actual application to add this into Shopify because this is no easy way to add it inside the product section, but still the process is actually really simple. Just go into apps and here what you wanted to do is to look out for variant color and choose the option that says search variant color in Shopify app store. This one should be taking us into the app store. So what I can do is to look out for an application that can be helping me to do this process really easy and fast. So today I choose the option that says glow color swatched. This is an actual application that can be helping us to do this process in a very easy way. This is just as, as easy as to see how it actually looks, the colors that you can add here. So as you can see, you can go for install and then I just need to grant the access between the application and my Shopify store. So I get to follow the prompts to install and configure the application inside my Shopify store. This uh, commonly tell us to, let's say for example, add different uh, app and beams and all that. So I just focus into the free plan because we can add up to 100 products when you have more than that. So I continue as free, continue as free once again. And as you can see, I have the app and beam. I choose the live theme and go to the theme editor. This is the part where I wanted to install my actual color and beam into my store. So this one should be sending us into the editor of our store. So I make sure that this one is enabled and make sure that it actually appears inside my store. Once you have processed all of this, let's go into the upper side and hit now into safe. Once you have done that, let's go back and you can see that we can sync to our online store. So here, what we can do is to make sure that all the product data will appear syncing the product data. If we don't see the app one, we need to feature the metal sync data. So I can do and make sure that here I have the color affects 45 products. The size affects 45 products and the time affects only one product. So I here, I just wanted to focus into variation that I'm currently having. So for example, here I have the variant image swatched with price like this and I go for sync now so I can sync all my product that has been added directly into my Shopify store. So this is the part when I wanted now to customize my product page. If you want more control over the appearance of the color swatches, you can customize your product page. So let's say and assume for example that I wanted to focus into appearance collection and you can see that we have the swatch type. How should be appearing here? For example, here is the color. I can change this for a square, for a fit texture. In this case, I'm going to just leave that as it is. And it actually looks really great. You can swap the border color, the hover effects, and much more. Even the appearance of the product can be edited automatically. And lastly, make sure that the theme integration once again is actually working. And let's go back into settings and let's go now into safe. Once you have done that, let's go back into the editor of Shopify. Let's go here inside online store and let's focus now into edit your custom theme or hit now into customize. Here into customize, what you can do is to look out for just one product. For example, product, default product. And as you can see here is our product section. So if I make sure that I can add this new section, 
Depending on the actual theme that you're currently using, you might be seeing different elements. For example, the variance appears into the actual left pod. And I can see that it appears the color of my variance and appears into the right part of this element. If you wanted to see this directly inside the upper side and see it here, well, what you need to do is to customize your actual new store. So I'm going to try to do the same thing and add it directly inside my spotlight, for example. You can edit the color appearing here inside the color swatch section. Inside this new section, I'm going to hit now into save. So there, guys, that's how we can actually focus in and add our color swatch directly into our store. So with that being said, I have not reached to the very end of the video, guys. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more online media for more valuable tips and tutorials. Until next time.